Shalom. This will be a short video about the weekly Torah reading, The Life of Sarah, Chayei Sarah. A bit strange, the Torah reading is called The Life of Sarah, but it begins with the death of Sarah, with the departure of life. I believe naming it The Life of Sarah really captures the understanding of what departing of a beloved one is. Sarah was 127 year, years old when she died. If we told Isaac, well, she lived a long life and she lived happily and healthily and she got to say goodbye, would that comfort Isaac? What does it mean to depart? What does it mean to become an orphan? I think it means grasping life more than grasping death. I would like to quote a beautiful poem written by my friend Judy Lewis, who is a great poet. And I'll quote only a part. It is not the length of time. It is not the number of years. It is not a living to a ripe old age on which grief is measured. It is the love and memories shared. It is the loss of a relationship. It is the passing of a generation by which our grief is weighed. I would add and say it is about cherishing so many moments that become overwhelming. And that is what Isaac has to do with the death of his mother, Sarah. And the end of the portion, after finding the love of his life, Rebecca, he loses his father too. But here, something very interesting happens. His brother comes from the far deserts of Faran, of Egypt, his brother Ishmael, and they share these life memories together. I believe there is a message here for us. For one thing, departure is not departing from the person who just died and clinging on to these last moments. It is really connecting to our heritage. And this connection is not done alone. It is done together, connecting to the people who are still alive and continuing together with the heritage of those who left us. And I believe on the national level too, there's a great understanding here. But Ishmael and Yitzchak can connect together. The Arab people, the Jewish people with different languages, with different cultures have a lot in common. And if only we remember that, we can move forward in life, cherishing all the common heritage. Shabbat Shalom.